Hello, everybody, to a brand new Let's Play series of Victoria 2. I know, we're, we're playing Sinistra Hoi 4 on the channel today. Um, so we're playing as Brazil, because that is who people voted for in my little YouTube poll. So, it's, you know, it's 1836. We're currently Brazil. We have too much focus, so we don't have to worry about that too much. Literacy is at 4.8%. I would say that's pretty bad. We're in 17th place, 13 military, 3 prestige. Absolutely no industry, but that's not a huge surprise for 1836. We should be okay there. But we are playing an H, uh, HPM today. I'm pretty sure this most recent version. I, I did try to double check beforehand. Uh, but there's a little rebellion down in the south, so we will go and fight them off. Are you a decent army? 7-3. Could be better, but also could be significantly worse. Uh, so I think th first thing first, we're going to get ourselves two artillery pieces here. That should be okay. Taxes. Boost those straight the hell up. And aside from that... You know, let's just have the game run. We'll also go to speed 5, of course. Also, even allies from Ecuador. I'm assuming Ecuador probably is not very powerful right now. Three divisions. But I think just having allies in any regard will probably be good for us. Also, we can actually go to War Paraguay as well. We do actually have a claim here. I mean, I wouldn't mind just immediately going to war with them. You hate me. Peru, Bolivia. I think, which one of you is the main... You're Peru, you're Peru, Bolivia, you're South Peru. You also don't like me. Colombia, you know what, you like us well enough. You would accept an alliance. Venezuela, you like me as well, you would not accept. Okay, we have a, we have Colombia, we have Ecuador as an alliance. I'm happy with both of those. 12 and 14, 26 division total. I'm guessing you did, you did mobilize. Do I need to mobilize as well? Or do you think I can kind of just avoid these, uh, I mean, you're mostly infantry. You have no... We have one cavalry division. Uruguay... Oh, Uruguay wants an alliance. I will immediately call Uruguay into this war. Thank you, Uruguay. We just gotta like, take over a few other areas here. It shouldn't be too, too bad. I, I wouldn't be surprised if Uruguay were to maybe mobilize as well. I don't think we want to, though. Also, I should be researching something. That's completely my bad. Um... Education efficiency. You were in 1840. I logical thought. Experimental railroad would be nice. But, you know, let's just get all of our basic uh, technologies here. I think seems okay. You're going to go further up north. Yeah, let's just go here. That should be fine. I don't know if this army is going to move its way back down south. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised by it. Also, we should be doing our national focus. It's been a long time since I played Victoria 2. I like to uh, point that out. So, intellectuals here in our two biggest states. I believe 4% is what we want to be at for education efficiency. Yeah, for a literacy rate. Be there on June 8th. I'll be gone on June 21st. So you are going to fight me. I have a plus one defense general. I don't know how well good you are. And if we lose, here's the thing. If we lose this battle, we can always just mobilize our units afterwards. It's not that big of a deal. Who believe he's at war? They're, they're already at war with Argentina. Interesting, but okay. And I'm guessing this is an annexation, right? Yeah. Caucasian war. Argentinian war. Chilean war. June 8th. Oh, it's for me to get here and back again. That's going to take until... Uh, do, 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 can we, are, we can go in the grasslands. I mean, I would like to fight you. Also, I have no artillery pieces. Not a huge surprise. I'm, yeah, not, not really many people actually make artillery pieces this early on. Also, I am going to turn down the audio ever so slightly. What is your plan? I think I'm going to fight you. We are taking a negative one because of digging, but as long as when whenever you real roll higher, it does cause digging to go down. Three, eight, eight. Okay, that's a good roll for us. Seven and three. Uh, okay, it's, it's looking good. It's looking good. Two war score there. All of our units are immediately in the red. Fantastic. So we have <laughs> like no, no manpower anymore. Okay, Lubeck. And Lubeck, we're already down to we're down to 26 plates just due to how badly we performed that uh, operation. We are taking a little bit of a river crossing. 
They're actually going into... I think this is an Argentinian puppet state. Do I want to mobilize? I mean, I guess I have my navy. We can use them to blockade. Revolution. And Guarpara. Pop Milton C. Loca Constance. I mean, it's not so bad. So 1822, Guarpara was a separate vice royalty from Brazil, porting herself directly to Portugal. This vice royalty united Brazil in its fight against Portugal, but once the fight for independence ended, the provisional government named by the Brazilian emperor was installed, the local leaders were marginalized from power. The rebellion broke in 1831 uh, in the military garrison of Belém, involving one of the local leaders, uh, Batista Campos, which was jailed. Indigenous of the poor grew. Or the Indian nation of the poor grew in 1833. Already there was talks on converting Brazil into a federation. The provisional president unleashed a repressive political wave in an attempt to contain the separatists. The name Copenhagen refers to the type of hut used by the poorest people in the province. The agriculturalists of Garapara, while living much better, resented their lack of participation in their government's decision making, which is dominated by the provinces of the southeast and the northeast. So they're a little upset, but it's really not a big deal. Venezuela, fantastic. I would like an alliance with you. They've got like a pretty strong alliance network in northern South America, which is nice. Our army, of course, is in just an absolute state of disrepair. Are you a, you're a republic? Then what what do the Jackman rebels want? I, I could not tell you. Nicaragua had voter rights rescinded. You know, let's mobilize our army. I think we actually will need it. And we did have a rally point here that the rally point to this province for now i don't want to get countered attack that's a bit of a worry for me also what the hell is this flag i have no idea that that's fine though that's fine yeah so central Amer uh american republic is completely collapsing yeah this this is now when we want to run both november 10th of November, 6th of November, you'll be on our 7th. Okay, let's go to Uruguay. They're going to go to their capital. That's completely okay. I'm, I'm just glad we were to actually escape. That, that could have been very, very bad for us. Okay, but we do have our reinforcements now arriving. Very, very good. I act, I desperately needed these units. I We did not have a choice, no matter. Once we can get them down here, we'll be looking pretty good. You probably go to Puso Fondo afterwards to unoccupy that territory. Yes. We're not going to worry about our territory. Technically, they are occupied, so that causes a prestige loss, but... I think we only had three to begin with, so who, who honestly cares? Okay, send to the Queen Victoria. Bring our 24 stacks to their capital. They're about to 21 divisions already, which is... They're 21,000 men, which is a bit of a worry. Even your way back up north, which is fine. I will say that this war has not gone... As well as I would have liked it to. I have no money. Cut down naval spending. We're blockading decently enough. Britain is going to go to war with some other people. That is okay. We desperately need to sort out our army situation after this war. The war against Paraguay. I mean, they only have three divisions, though. You know what I mean? They've only got three. It shouldn't be that hard to just beat up Paraguay, right? Okay, so you're gonna go over here. Our general is a plus two defense. Okay, we can see right now that the AI does not want to, uh, does not want to fight our 22 stack, which I'm happy to see. How is this province taking so long to siege down? Okay, we have 11 stack of rebels over here. So I think Uruguay is going to collapse out of this war very, very soon. Which is a bit of a shame, but not too much we can actually do about that. I mean, we could call in any of our northern allies, but it, it, it does, I don't think it makes sense. I don't think it's something that we actually want to do. I'm actually going to bring all our army together in one big chunk. There we go. We will siege you down. Move our way over to here. Annex Rio Grande de Sol. Thank you very much. And you know what, just for now, we'll extend slavery. And then also, I was going to say demobilize the army, but I'm not actually going to do that right now. I think we're going to just invade Paraguay. Acquire our core, it's only worth three victory points. If we just move our way straight into 
I always forget how goddamn loud the music in this game is. If we just move straight into the capital of Paraguay, they should. They now have an 18 stack. It's a pure infantry stack, which is not very good. Nope, they now have a 24 stack, which is way worse. First of October, 21st, 22nd, 20. Okay. So. Par Paraguay has already gotten themselves in a much better situation than I thought they would. Can I get five infantry on the way, please? Can I get like seven infantry on the way? I don't know if I have guns for these units. Actually, if I were just to theoretically like buy 67, I don't know if we have the money for that. Okay, we have one unit training. Hey, we escaped! Go back. Yeah, we, if we take the capital, they should surrender. It's only like one shitty five population province anyway. So we'll try our best. Paraguay, you stay up here. But I just need to take your capital. Okay? I, I don't want to lose a war against Paraguay. I think you're coming back and you need to beat me up. Can I get military access for you? Do not accept. You're coming, you're coming down here for sure. What if I just like leave this way? I know for a fact the AI does not like moving into... I said, no, where are you going? You're going here? I mean, they siege down very, very quickly. I have a three stack over here as well. What are you? Your basic infantry? Okay, move your way here, please. I do need to leave this area, though. I need to get my army back together. Okay, let's go up and around. You are... Well, go to the rally point. Uruguay wants an alliance. Thank you once again. I'm guessing you had like a revolution. Should be fine. Are you going to Castro? You are. Okay, let's not go to Castro. Let's just move up uh, up and around. Luckily, we can at least produce infantry. So I'm happy with that. I am poor though. I am very poor. Representation. You know, you know, like looking at this, we actually have pretty decent... Democracy laws. You know, let's outlaw slavery, 1838. I think that's actually like 50 years before they did it in real life. Okay, the military staff. Follow that up with tax efficiency. I need money desperately. Okay, we've got an 18 stack. They need 21 stack in a second. Again, this is a harsher war than I was expecting. I was really saying that we just kind of like walk into the country. They got Peru, Bolivia. They don't own any parts of Peru. That's okay. You don't need to. 12,000, 2,000. Give it like one month to see if you can maybe reinforce. The thing is I have no cash. What if I like Tariff? Tariff does not give me like any money. Okay. Also, is anybody putting me in their sphere of influence? Probably like the United States. No, actually. No, they are. Okay. Just very slowly. You're now at war with Argentina. But this is not war with anybody else? No. You want them to be a puppet. Argentina, how many units do you guys have? You have two, but you're not mobilized. I will join the Uruguayan war. I'm going to fight these units. I like. Okay, we're getting into a lot of wars really quickly here. Are we going to lose this battle? We are going to lose this battle. Get me the hell out of here for a second, please, and thank you. Because you're going to mobilize. You're already up to 14 divisions. Very cool. I'm going to demobilize and then remobilize. It's a little it's a little trick you can do in this game to uh, get your units back. The AI will never... You have a 40... You got a 44 stack? Holy shit. Okay, we have units coming in from the north. Can I, can I at least kill, like, this two stack? Is that something I can do while I'm here? Maybe. Okay, yeah, we're, we're killing them. We're killing them. 0.3 war score. Okay, fantastic. Again, we're not going to get any prestige. So just don't even think about it. I'm going to move you to here. I'm assuming they probably have like a 44 stack just sitting in the uh, the capital here. 
Yes, yeah, what is this war? The Uruguayan war to- wait. Wait, this is not the war against you? This is a different war entirely? Okay, this is- Because you want to humiliate Argentina. Okay, this is, this is not the war I thought it was. And that scares me... A lot, actually. We have a 30 stack here. I mean, I would like to... I mean, if we could, like, beat Argentina right now, I think that would be really nice. Productions. Again, we have no factories. I cannot afford to build a factory right now. Look, Brazil... Brazil's in a bit of a bind at the moment, okay? There's a lot of wars. A lot of people have died in, the, in, in these two years. Soon to be three. Okay, Chile wants military access. Are you worth Argentina as well? No, you're worth Peru Bolivia. God damn it. None, none of you are helping me out. So again, we got the 30 stack. They're moving up north. You are... Once... Okay, you'd actually just annex straight into Argentina. 28 stack. Five, I probably want to come down here. This should be enough for me to win the war, right? Like, come on. 33. I mean, is there anything I'd actually want to do with Paraguay aside from that? 85 is too much. War reparations. I don't think they'd make any money. The prestige doesn't help. So you know what? No. I think we just want to take this little state. It's it's not much, but I guess it's something. And then we'll move our units. Let's go into let's go into your uh your way down here. Okay, we're gonna take some heavy attrition. You are moving your way down south. If I come in here to, in theory, support... 25th of February, we'll be there on the, the 2nd of March. I don't think we, we would even win this fight. I think you're just going to kill them, like, instantly. Yeah, they're already dead. You're now going to march into my territory. Are we defendable terrain? No, we're in grasslands. So the, the answer is certainly not. But if I can... You don't have any artillery. Okay, that's actually really good to know. If you can't beat me, you have any good... No, you have, like, farmland, so I think it's actually even worse for defense. Supply limit plus 10, farmland, supply limit. It's got farming efficiency. <laughs> so that's cool. Oh, they have a really good general. Oh, they have a really good general. Yeah, no, we're just getting our ass kicked. Get me the hell out of Rio. De Let's go back to Rio. We don't need to. We don't need to be here. Okay. You want to humiliate Uruguay? Sure, take it, man. Demobilize. Okay, it's time to figure out what the hell is happening. We already declared any war for like Wolof. I'm really surprised. The AI usually isn't this aggressive in uh, in Africa this early on. That's fine. That's fine, though. So we won two wars. We lost one war. Paraguay now does, now owns this state. I'm actually I'm not too sure why they do, but I'm not going to question it. Cut military spending to nothing, because <laughs> goddamn. Education, administration. Forty twelve thousand dollars in debt. Very cool. Raise tariffs. Um. Aside from that, cut education spending. I can't lower military spending anymore. Right now, we are conservative, which is okay. Interventionalist. We can open factory with interventionalist, so that's fine. This is okay. I mean, it's not the best. But, like, by no no means are we doing poorly. How much are we spending on the Navy here still? It's a little hard to say, actually. Oh, no, we're, we're spending, like, 12, 12 pounds a fucking day on this shit. Okay. You guys want better suffrage? Is this for you want wealthy voting? There you go. Look, okay, I understand that the past three and a half years, I've brought Brazil in a bit of an awkward, <laughs> a bit of an awkward situation. Okay, I, I'm I'm more than willing to admit that th this has not been the greatest start our country has ever seen. Okay, we have no prestige, we have no industry. But those things will come in time. Once we got our stock exchange, I mean, we have like no research because our education is so bad. But that's, again, it's fine. 
Oh, so what's our decisions? I don't think I've even actually even looked at this. Right now, our decisions, the negative status, show carbon decisions, renovate, enslave the serfs. Don't care about you, don't care about you, don't care about you. But what about the status of the natives? What can we do with, with them? Protection Act, Integration Act, Suppression Act. All of these require us to have money. All out rights, limited citizenship. We could do like the Integration Act. You infamy. Lose five infamy for protection acts. Oppression is six infamy. What do you actually give us? I mean, it's 10,000 pounds for five infamy. That's, that's a pretty good deal. We also had way more. Except, like, th th why would you do anything than protection? Like, everything else is just bad. I guess you could just kill off 25% of them. No, you can actually kill up to 80%. Okay, that's... I mean, it just seems like the Protection Act is just the best of the options. Fallen Volunteers. 10 Prestige. We're at war, we have Army Decision Making. Which is... Where, where is that in this? 1850 Tech. Okay. So that's a 10 Prestige. We can easily use this at some point. You know, it's a Loser War Exhaustion, which is nice. New Life in a New World. Staying government, free press, all out rights, money at least 60,000. Immigrant traction was 100%. And what are you? Eight, 1908, or we invented mass politics. Mass politics is a 1900. Okay, so it's, it's still a 20th century technology. But one thing I have not mentioned is because we are in the new world, we'll have a pretty strong immigration bonus. However, we are a monarchy, which also kind of defeats that a lot. As you can see, like over here, Mexico, the United States are doing quite well for themselves. Because we're a monarchy, we're not really getting as much sway. Hopefully we can change that in the future. The political power disputes across the hearts of the elite class, which reflected in Monroe by the opposition of liberals and conservatives, when Pedro de Angel Lima became the prime minister, invoking the so-called conservative regression, the Moran Howe conservatives took advantage of the opportunity to remove the liberals in power and weaken them further by contracting the service of the cattle ranchers, traditionally supported by the liberals. The event which began uh, the revolt was the detention of the brothel of the range, uh, the brother of the rancher Gomez, the liberal, by the order of the sub-mayor of the town of Magna. Uh, contesting, it, the, contesting the detention of his brother Gomez, the support of the, content, uh, the contingent of the National Guard, invaded the municipal jail and freedom in 1840. Uh, the beginning of the rebellion against the conservative government. Okay, so the liberals are upset with us. The thing about Victoria too, you got you got to remember is that the uh, the liberals are terrible. You do you do not want the liberals in, in power ever. In fact, like the weird thing about we cannot choose a party because we're in an election. Um, the the wild thing about Victoria too is is that in the early game from like 1836 when it starts to like 1880, usually the best government you want is the reactionaries because they give you um. Typically, like, the best options uh, in terms of starting up your economy. After that... No, protectionism sucks. Never never take protectionism. It's terrible. No, no one ever supports it in Victoria 2. I don't know why. But it usually goes from the reactionaries of the best party in the early game to the socialists being the, the best party in the later game. Just because of the beautiful, beautiful uh, state capitalism bonus. It's always very, very nice. Um, man, concession in the Dutch, don't care about them. But, you know, they also have, bet, you know, social, right now, reactionaries, they got state capitalism. It, it, it's by far the best uh, choice. The other stuff, we don't, we don't really care about too much. I don't even know state capitalism right now would make too much of a difference for us. Minimum tax, 25%. Factory owner cost was 60%. As long as we can build factories. I cannot build factories. I lied to you. See, this is why. Get the conservatives out of here, put the reactionaries in charge. You want the reactionaries in charge at the beginning of the game, just so you can build factories. 14,000. We have three craftsmen in Brazilian Amazonias. We're not going to do that. We're going to we're gonna give our first um, factory to Rio de Janeiro. And also, you always want to go winery. For some reason, wineries are just very, very, very good in uh, any alcohol, really, in Victoria 2 as well for itself. But I do think... Right now, almost uh, halfway through 1940, and this will be a good time for us to end this episode. So thank you everybody for watching. If you enjoyed, thumbs up. Not doing it, close thumbs down. You want to subscribe, and goodbye.